Hello friends. So today we are going to see the lead core problem water bottles. So instead of going through the explanation part or the description part, I will quickly explain you what is the input over here and what is the required output. So here we are given the two parameters as an input set. One is the number of bottles which states that we have given the at the initial stage the number of full water bottles with the parameter num bottles and another parameter is the number of exchanges which is help us to exchange the number of empty bottles and the required output is we have to get the maximum number of water 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 bottles which we can drink okay so here i will take you to the example one so initially user is given with the number of bottles 9 and the number of exchanges are 3 okay and the uh, the expected output is 13 so how this expected output is 13 so let's let's go into the elaboration part so initially we are given total number of 9 bottles so once we bring all the 9 bottles which we then we can go for the exchanges so initially this count gets added to the result set that is a 9 in the next exchange what we need to do is we simply need to divide this number of bottles with the number of exchanges so 9 by 3 gives us the 3 full water bottle and in this case the residue is 0 because the num bottles of 9 when we divide it with the number of exchanges there is a 0 remainder so so we get the 3 as a result set so we what we need to do is we have to add this result new result into the old result set that is a 9 plus 3 which brings us 12 then again user can drink all the three water bottles which turns into this three empty bottle then again we uh, we can go for the exchanges so it uh, again gives us the one full water bottle which we can drink so this one gets added over here so that's calculation becomes 9 plus 3 plus 1 it gives us the value 13 let's go to the another example for example here the number of water bottles are 15 and the number of exchanges are 4 and the output is 19 so if we closely look at this diagram so initially we have this 15 water bottles so we can simply add this 15 uh, over here then user can drink the multiple of 4 so here if we see like if we uh, if we divide the number of bottles with the number of exchanges so it gives us the three new or extra water bottles and here if we see like the the water bottles which user cannot exchange those remain three because the residue like if you uh, divide the 15 and, uh, by 4 the mod is the remainder is three so these three full water bottles and these are the three empty water bottles which are yet to be exchanged so in the next stage we get this as a six but before that if you see like these are the 15 water bottles and the, the newly what uh, newly brought up water bottles are three so that's why this 15 plus 3 is becomes 18 it becomes 18 so in the next iteration we have the six water bottles so out of 6 if we exchange it so again we can get 6 by 4 which gives us the extra one water bottle with a, which is filled with the water so if you see this piece of uh, diagram so here we can have the three water bottles one is filled and another two are empty so that's why this one is added and after that you can use a drinks all the three like that water bottle as well so we end up with the three empty water bottles which we cannot exchange because the number of exchanges minimum number of exchanges required are four now let's take another example which handles the age case so when the number of water bottles are lesser than the number of exchanges so we simply need to return this number of bottles so let's jump into the coding part now so initially what we are doing over here is we are setting up we have defined the result set as a parameter so at the first stage we are just simply setting the number of water bottles which are filled with water to the result set so in this let's take an example over here the first example so it becomes the 9 after that when 9 is this number of bottles are greater than the number of exchanges so in this case 9 is greater than or equal to 3 so what we need to do is we need to go through this 
while loop or inside this while loop so here first in the first transaction we are simply making the division operation and we are storing the result into the t so 9 by 3 which brings us the 3 so uh, what we are doing is we are adding that t or which its value is 3 into the result part so this 9 plus 3 becomes 12 and after that what we are doing is this number of bottles so how many number of water bottles are left with so in this case we have this 3 or the t which stands for the 3 empty bottle so that t plus the number of bottles that is a 9 mod number of exchanges which is 3 so 9 mod 3 which gives us the residue 0 so 3 plus 0 becomes 3 so that is the number of bottles so in the next iteration what happens is 3 is greater than or equal to 3 so in this case it is true so again we come inside this while loop and here it again divides 3 by 3 which gives us 1 as a result set in t so again we are appending that into the result set so result set becomes 13 like initial it was 12 and the recent one is 1 so 12 plus 1 is 13 and in the next iteration what we are doing is so this t is 1 and the number of bottles are 3 and again number of exchanges are 3 so it be, uh, it gives us the 0 so 1 plus 0 it becomes 1 so after that again it goes in, it uh, comes over here and it checks the number of bottles that is a 1 which is, is it greater than the number of exchanges that is 3 so the loop becomes false and it simply returns the result set so let's run this program <coughs> okay so it gives us the faster solution which is 100 percent faster and the runtime is 0 millisecond so if you see the number of test case which it is passing so it is passing all the 64 test cases over here so now quickly ex i'm quickly explaining the time complexity and the space complexity of this algorithm so if you see i have just declared one single variable that is a result so the space complexity is big of one and we are simply looping through this uh, while loop only one time so the time complexity is big of the number of water bottles so that's all for this video i have mention the solution link of github in the description section of this video so you can refer it and thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for the next one thank you